Olympic gold medalist Evania Pilite has been named in a 32-strong Queensland squad for the upcoming State of Origin at Canberra's GIO Stadium. With no Queensland-based teams in Sunday's NRLW Grand Final, after the Roosters shocked the Broncos and the Dragons eliminated the Titans, Maroons coach Tony Norris has announced an extended squad to begin preparing for Origin. The squad includes a number of new faces, including p -Lite, who returned to the NRLW this season with the Titans and was among the leading players in the competition. The 26-year-old was in the Australian Rugby Sevens team, which won gold at the 2016 Olympics in Rio, and she was also a member of the squad that competed at last year's Tokyo Games. After starting the season at fullback, p -Lite moved to the centres and along with fellow Rugby Sevens convert Emma Tonegato, she gave an insight into the benefits of full-time training for female athletes. Up next to cancel replay play next Tonegato and p -Lite have been clinical in NRLW 2021. Jillaroo's coach Brad Donald told NIL that both p -Lite and Tonegato who will play fullback for the Dragons in the grand final at Morton Daly Stadium, could expect phone calls from Norris or NSW coach Kylie Hilda once their NRLW commitments were finished. He said they were then likely to come into contention for Gillaroo's selection at the end-of-season World Cup in England. It is not our place to reach out as Gillaroo's, NSW and Queensland staff while these girls are still playing because they have a job to do for their teams, Donald said. I think once the NILW finishes on Sunday, there will be some frantic calls from both NSW and Queensland around players like Evania and Emma to see their desire to play State of Origin. Once that is completed they are probably going to be hearing from someone like me if they do play State of Origin. The Maroon squad also includes Broncos winger Emily Bass, who switched from rugby union with the Queensland Reds teammate and former Australian Rugby Sevens representative Hagiga Mosby, Knights captain Romy Teitzel, Roosters forward Kaylee Joseph, and a host of familiar faces. The Broncos have 13 players in the squad, headed by Ali Brigginshaw, Tamika Upton and Taryn Aiken, while Titans captain Brittany Braley Notti is one of 12 Gold Coast representatives after making a successful return to the NRLW this season. The Maroons squad will come together for four training days in May, as well as a specialist SS session. The sessions will form an important part of the Maroons' preparations ahead of June 24 Ampol State of Origin match against NSW in Canberra. The squad will be trimmed to 19 players, who will take part in the final camp leading into the Origin match, with all players to be compensated throughout each training phase for the time they may need to take off work to train travel and undertake their recovery requirements. All selected NILW players will have a medical review with Maroons team staff over the next two weeks, before they start to filter back into the QIL's BMD Premiership after the Easter break. The Maroons squad is Taryn Aiken, Emily Bass, Ali Brigginshaw, Brittany Braley Notti, Destiny Brill, Kaina Brown, Lauren Brown, Sheeny Siasiolka, Brianna Clark, Jessica Elliston, Jada Ferguson, Tasman Gray, Steph Hancock, Talisha Harden, Kaylee Joseph, Chelsea Lenarduzzi, Emma Manzelman, Shannon Matu, Hagiga Mosby, April Ngatupuna, Evania Pilite, Jasmine Peters, Shania Power, Natasja Purontakinen, Tiana Raft Strand Smith, Julia Robinson, Sawa Sorsha, Romy Teitzel, Shante Temera, Zahora Temera, Amy Turner, Tamika Upton,